fellow vinyl record collectors. Today I'd like to show you uh, records for my collection for the artists of Nancy Sinatra and along with Nancy Sinatra would obviously be Lee Hazelwood who wrote many of her songs. So obviously Nancy Sinatra was the daughter of Frank Sinatra and she made her professional singing debut on her father's television show in 1960 which was a show welcoming Elvis Presley back from the armed forces. Uh, in 1960, Frank Sinatra created his own label, Reprise, and of course his daughter was on that label. Between 1960 and through uh, 1965, she released a number of singles. None of them charted. And she wasn't having much luck, but fortunately along came Lee Hazelwood, who sort of changed her image and wrote some music for her. And from that point on, she had a lot of success in her career. So her first album, being Boots, with the big number one hit, These Boots Are Made For Walking. The album itself charted at number five on the Billboard charts. There's a number of other good tracks on this um, album besides Boots Are Made For Walking. So if you like that song, you'll probably like uh, most of the album sort of follows the same vein. Her second album to come out in 1966, how does that grab you? Again, a very good album, sounding very much sort of like her first album. This one charted at 41 on the Billboard charts. And uh, I think, I'm not sure if we, how many of the songs we Hazelwood wrote on this one, probably a good number of them. Um, but uh, quite a few good tracks on this album too. Her third album, Nancy in London, 1966. Summer Wine is on this album, which is a, a well-known song by her. Her next one from 1967, Country My Way. So this is a total switch now. Where she is sort of going uh, country sound. This one charted number 43 on the Billboard charts. Um, a few songs like Jackson, written by Lee Hazelwood, or with Lee Hazelwood. No, that was me. What uh, a bit of a change from the previous albums. The next one, 1967, Sugar. I don't know how well you can see this because the uh, Shrink wrap is still on the um, on the record. This one, 1967, chart at number 18 on the charts. Um, this one sort of a little bit all over the place. Uh, Sweet Georgia Brown. So she's got um, sort of vaudeville songs as well as pop songs in collaboration with the Azelwood. Uh, this was uh, 1967, and the original price is here from the store Simpsons, three dollars and ninety-five cents. Next up, 1968, Nancy and Lee. Um, collaboration. Well, they always work together, anyways. On almost all their albums. Again, Jackson is on this one here. Next album called Nancy released in 1969. Well, that um, I don't know what Nancy Lee charted. I don't have information. This one, 1969, charted at number 91. This one, there's uh, quite a collection of songs, and they seem to be all over the place. Uh, some are almost like vocal jazz. Some are pop. Uh, some are a touch of country flavor to it. So. so. I think she's trying to appeal to a broad uh, audience here, and I don't know if that worked or not. Uh, here's one. I don't know the date of this one. This is from a television special, I think, here. She was moving with Nancy. I'm probably guessing late 60s. Actually, this also has the original price tags from Eaton's, $3.49. And Jackson appears on this album, I guess. That's three albums that uh, that song appears on. 
special guest D. Martin and Hazelwood. I don't think their vocals are on this uh, album. I'm not sure. I haven't played it in a while. I think they were just on the television show. So as well as doing our own recordings, um, Nancy Sinatra is also doing some movies. And I like here's an example: The Wild Angels. This was with uh, Peter Fonda. Most of the music on this album is done by Davy Allen and the uh, Arrows, with uh, Mike Curb involved. And Mike Curb, of course, is with uh, the creator Sidewalk, the Sidewalk label. And this is the case just Nancy is not real; it's just doing acting. Another example is um, this one here: Get Yourself a College Girl. Nancy uh, Sinatra is an actress in there, and she doesn't do any singing, as far as I know. They've got quite a lineup here. Dave Clark, Five, The Animals, Stan Getz, and the Strood, Gilberto, The Standells. They're quite a good uh, musical lineup, and yet I don't think um, there's anything by Nancy Sinatra vocal She was strictly an actress in this one. She also appeared in uh, the Elvis uh, movie Speedway, and she is only one of two artists to ever have a sing a solo song on an Elvis soundtrack, uh, the other being Anne Margaret. Um, so, we uh, you know Lee Hazelwood collaborated with Nancy Sinatra through almost her entire career. And here's an example of the Lee Hazelwood album. This is a very good album. My Autumn Dove Come is on this one. This one has some um, sort of psychedelic uh, tone to it. Excellent album from the 60s. This is on the MGM label. If you ever see this one, get it. Another Lee Hazelwood album right here, which is uh, 40. And I'm not familiar with this label, LHI. I'm not sure. This was this might not be pressed in North America. So here you go. Also, of course, Nancy Sinatra sang one of the James Bond themes in, I think it was 1967. She sang the theme song for You Only Live Twice. Um, she also appeared in a number of television shows, such as Laugh-In, Man from Uncle. And she also went to Vietnam a couple of years, 1966, 67, to entertain the troops. A very versatile uh, actress and singer. And if you ever get to see any of her albums uh, in the vinyl stores or in the flea markets, vinyl shows, I recommend you pick them up. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.